Hey ya kids! Today, I'm going to show you how we can install Windows Whistler build 2419 in VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in description. Before you begin, make sure the date on your host is set to January 14th, 2001. First, click on the blue button that says New or press Ctrl N, or if you're on a Mac, Command N. First, give your VM a name. I'll make mine Windows Whistler Build 2419. Set the type to Microsoft Windows and the version to Windows XP and either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on the ISO you got. I got a 32-bit ISO, so I will select 32-bit. Click on Hardware. Select the amount of RAM you want. The default is 192 megabytes, but I'll make it 512 megabytes. Next, click on Hard Disk and select the amount of disk space you want. I'll leave it at 10 gigabytes. Click Finish. Next, click on the orange button that says Settings or press Ctrl S, or if you're on a Mac, Command S. Click on Storage in the sidebar. Click on the blue CD icon, then click on the blue CD icon with an arrow and click Choose the disk file. Navigate over to your Whistler Build 2419 ISO. Link for the one I use is in the description. Once you find the file, double click on it and click OK. Then click the green arrow that says Start. Wait for it to boot up. Once you see the screen, press Enter and then Enter again. Press F8 or FNF8 to agree to the license. Press Enter to install Windows on the unpartitioned space. Choose the file system you want to use. I will use NTFS Quick. Setup will then format the disk, examine the disk, and copy files over. Then, press Enter to restart. Don't press any key. Doing that will boot from the ISO and you'll have to do everything again. Wait for it to boot. Then, it will copy more files over. Eventually, this window will appear. You can set up any regional and language options. I'm happy with the settings, so I will click Next. Type your name, and if you want, your organization. I'll make my name TOWF and my organization TOWF Co. You can either use this product key, or go search for one online. Type your computer name. I'll name it Whistler2419. Choose if the date and time settings are correct. They're okay for me, so I'll click Next. Choose whether to use typical or custom network settings. I'll choose typical settings. Choose if you're on a domain or not. I'll say no and use the default workgroup name. Then, it will copy more files over. After it's done, it'll restart. Wait for it to boot. Click yes. Choose if everything looks okay. I'll click yes. Then, it will start the OOB. Click Next. Choose if a VM will connect to the internet through a network. I'll click No. Choose if you want to activate. I'll click No. Choose if you'll be sharing with others. I'll click No. Type your name. I'll make it TOWF. Click Finish. Then it will bring you to the desktop. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you're happy with your new Windows West LARPing app. Bye!